everyone, I'm Casey Warren and in this video I'm going to show you how to make our BLM hearts that might look kind of something like this. Um, on the back we also are going to put NCC um, and I'm going to show you a few ways to make these with different tools and show you how to carve the letters in and also show you how to add letters so it's three dimensional. Alright, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my clay and wedge it. This is easiest done while standing up near the table. And you're gonna wanna push the palms of your hands into the clay. So you wanna push palm of your hand into the clay. I'm wrapping my hands on the outside, pushing down, and then turning it. This is called, I believe the ram's head or something like that, um, because as you do it, continue to do it, it looks like a ram. I'm gonna grab my rolling pin, these are in the classroom, and I'm gonna either, you can take your fist and hit it on the clay, or you can take this. Make it a little bit flatter. Work harder, not smarter. Work, work smarter, not harder. And then I'm gonna take my rolling pin, again, this is easiest when you're standing up. And you wanna apply pressure. You don't want the clay to be too thin because then it can change shape a little bit in the kiln. You wanna make sure it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And you wanna make it as even as possible. Typically, you might use something like a ruler and stack two rulers on top of each other and put it on either side and it'll help you um, be even and have a good thickness. Um, so if you have four rulers, something like this, you know, put, stack two on top of each other, roll it like that and it'll be flush, it'll be flat. So you want it about like two thick, two of those, so about that thick uh, like I said about a quarter of an inch you don't need to measure it but if it's too thick it'll explode in the kiln and if it's too thin it might warp all right I'm still working on rolling out my clay making sure it's completely smooth I just flipped it and work on this side a little bit all right that seems pretty even about the same thickness eyeballing it now all right and now we have these hearts located in the ceramics room they are on or near the slip shelf I uh, showed you in the instruction video um, on the slip classroom or on blackboard page where you can find these so if you need help referencing that check out that video and um, I will point out where you can find these so I'm going to take one and if you've ever baked cookies, you're kind of already a pro at this. I'm just kind of putting these all around. There's a bunch of different sizes. So I'm just gonna go in. And you know what? For this one, I wanna put this guy inside of it. This is totally up to you guys, however you want to make them. This is something that we're doing for a fundraiser. And so get creative with it, be fun, do what speaks to you. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna remove the clay from around it and then pick it up. All right, I'm gonna pick up this one inside of it. And now I have two hearts, because I can use this one as another heart. And then I also have this one. Now, something that I want to note, like I said, if it's, if it's too thin, it'll warp. So be careful how, make, how thin you make these edges as well, because if they're too thin, then they might either snap, because they're, they'll be drying faster. If there's less material, it'll dry faster, so it might crack or it might warp in the kiln. Um, so you wanna make sure that it's thick enough uh, so that way it doesn't do that. So this one's pretty good. You can see it's 
it's a little thin. I could have gone a little bit thicker, um, but there you go. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is show you guys how to draw the BLM on the, the heart. So you're gonna take a tool, one of these tools. This one's a little bit smaller, and this one's a little bit bigger. So I think that this one's harder to use, especially when you're working on smaller hearts. So I'm gonna use the smaller one. It has a smaller hole so I can get less material, which is kind of what I want. So this is one of the smallest ones. And I'm just gonna take this and go into it and carve out. So I'm gonna start with my B, go down, and you're gonna stop periodically to get those, as we call, boogers out. Um, you know, as you're going, clay collects and creates almost a booger. Um, so you're gonna keep pausing to get all those off and continue using the tool. I think that this is like a really simple, easy way to get in your letters and make it creative. You can do different fonts, whatever you wanna do. You're just carving away and now I'm smoothing over the letters to make sure that they look really nice. Going back in there. All right, so this is what it should look like when you're done. That probably looks backwards to you, but you get the gist. Um, I'm also gonna turn it around and write NCC on the back so they know where we're from. Uh, so the tricky part about curved letters is that you're gonna wanna move the tip as you're, as you're moving so that way it's not all in just, it gets thick and thin if you put it in and start to move. And then, I don't know if you can see, but I'm turning it as I go so it stays the same thickness. If I didn't, then it would get thinner. It'd be kind of like calligraphy. Um, you know, you press down harder when you're in certain areas and you pick up uh, in other areas. So it's kind of like that. You have to turn your tool uh, in order for the, the lettering to be the same. Uh, thickness, but you know if you want that that look that calligraphy look feel free to kind of leave it um, I'll show you what it looks like For both ways so this middle one I Turned as I, I turned my tool as I went and this one I left it all the same way So see how it's super thin over here because this part's really thin, so when I was going up that way, it, it was basically just going like that, but then on these, on this way, it picked up more because it was open. Um, so it depends on which, what look you want, but those are your options. Um, I like I like turning my tool because I think it looks thicker um, and it is easier to see and read, but however you guys wanna do them, that's totally up to you. My lettering looks like it's cur like curving up the page a little bit, but that's totally fine. Um, gives it a nice aesthetic, actually. All right, and I am done with my C. So, I have my BLM on the front, and I have my NCC on the back. Um, and this one, you know, it's a pretty small piece. It fits in the palm of my hand. Um, so I'm actually going to make this one a... Um, Maybe someone could use it as like a keychain holder, um, put it on their keys. So I'm going to, I used my needle tool, sorry I didn't show you that. I used my needle tool and I just put a little hole in there. You're going to want to make it a little bit bigger than what you think because clay does shrink. So if my hole is this big now, it'll be a little bit smaller after I add my glaze um, and after it goes in the kiln the first time. Uh, so there you have it. This one's done. I am excited for it to get fired. I hope someone uses it. Um, it's really cute, really great way to get a message across and um, fundraise for slip, like I said. All right, so I just showed you how to use a subtractive method to take away the clay and draw your letters, make your letters. And now I wanna do, show you an additive technique. So I'm adding clay to my form to make the letters. So I already rolled out this piece of clay. It's ready to go. It's pretty thin, uh, good size. And I'm gonna take my needle tool once again, and I'm just gonna make bubble letters in the piece that I have rolled out. And so, you know, you're basically just drawing. I'm putting my needle in the clay, and I'm pushing it to the canvas, and then I'm dragging it along, and I am making my letters. So kind of like the last time too, you might have to stop every once in a while, 
to get those boogers off your tool. All right, let me show you what these look like. I'm also gonna cut out the NCC on this, but this is what the BLM looks like. So I'm gonna take that, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is score and slip my piece where they will be. So I'm gonna put the BLM on there, and I'm gonna outline it just lightly. And you don't even have to go around the whole thing. You just want a general idea of where you have to score. So I'm going around at least a little bit of all my letters. I'm not going around the whole edge, but just making some lines for where my letters are. And I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to score it. Scoring is basically scratching up your clay and you want to do it to both sides. You're going to score the piece that you're adding it to and you're going to score the piece that you're adding. Um, so I'm starting with this and I was always told by my teacher that you want to score like your piece got in a fight with a lion, a tiger, and a bear. So really go at it, make a lot of different cuts in a lot of different directions. All right, now that I have my letters all set and ready to go, I'm gonna turn them around and like before, score these guys. So they look like they got in a fight with a lion, a tiger, and a bear. So really scratching in there. You don't have to go that deep. You don't wanna mess up your letters, especially because this is so tiny, but you definitely wanna give it a grip for this piece to attach to. Now that my letters are done, I'm going to take some slip and I am going to rub it. You only need slip on one side. I don't need to put slip on my piece and the pieces that I'm attaching. I just need one side with slip and slip acts as a glue. So it really locks in the two pieces together. You can use a paintbrush, you can use your fingers. Um, I like using my fingers, it's fine, it's fast, but some people don't like the texture. So up to you. Now that the slip is on, I'm just taking my letters and applying them where they go. And I'm pushing not too hard because I don't want to ruin my letters, but I'm pressing a decent amount because I want them to be able to stick and I don't want them to fall off. So I'm pushing in. And perfect, now they're on. All right, to smooth out the lettering, I am going to take just a paintbrush. You can dip it in either water or slip. And I'm going to go around the edges and soften these up. Um, I like using paintbrushes because it's soft and it doesn't um, ruin the shape of your piece and it allows you to get into really small cracks. All right, and now I have my piece and it's I've used an additive method to add my letters. And you know what, this one's pretty big, so I'm not gonna put a hole in it because I don't think anyone will use it um, like as a keychain holder. But you know what, you, if you want to, you can put a hole in it and you can use it as an ornament um, or you can leave it like this and you can put it in your garden or put it on your countertop, wherever you want to. Um, and like I said, on the back, I'm also gonna put NCC, but you get the gist, you know how to do this, so. I think that's all I have for you.